like to ask Greg uh, to share some insights and uh, experiences of working that population and what to look out for, what to consider. Thanks, Craig. I mean, I think it's Great. such an important population to address. And, you know, Susan and I work with the Empowerment Project, and we've been collaborating with agencies all around the country. And even though the intervention itself was originally designed for 18 to 29 year olds, a lot of the organizations have now adapted it to reach younger men, you know, in middle school and high school ages. Um, and and they um, and it's important to reach that population because research, research has really demonstrated that um, young MSM um, who start engaging in risk behavior earlier in or start engaging in sexual behavior early in life when they if they have an early sexual debut they end up engaging in more risk later in life and so it is important for projects to reach those guys but they really have to um, you know really consider that not all of the youth who come into the project are the same. Some you know, come in sexually active and out and proud from the very beginning. Others are much more shy and reserved. And a lot of the youth might not be sexually active. And it's important for projects to really give space for youth um, you know, to make uh, decisions about having sex when they're ready, I mean, to start having sex when they're ready to do so. Um, and so that when they do start having sex, they're prepared to do that safely so they don't get HIV infection. Um, you know, it's definitely one thing I like about the Empowerment Project is that it really teaches young men how to be um, self-reflective about their own misbehavior and to, um, you know, to think about what situations are going to put them at risk and how to protect themselves once they start having sex or as they're having sex. You know, particularly in boyfriend relationships where a lot of young men might start, start using condoms and then stop uh, prematurely early on in a relationship that a project can really help address that. Um, it's also important to remember that youth come into the project with all sorts of competing demands on their time. Um, and they may or may not be kind of mature enough to take on the leadership roles in the project at the beginning. And so I think it's important for projects to really create trainings and to help them develop skills um, as they go so that they can become, um, you know, really full participants in the project. And that may require more staff intervention than projects working with adults might. Do. 